start this video, I actually want to let you guys know that I decided that in the midst of everything going on with this outbreak crash and the virus and everything, I am actually going to donate the next two paychecks that I get from YouTube. Any organization that's helping out with the whole COVID-19 thing. So the only thing I can ask from you guys is uh, when I'm doing some live streams, I'm going to just please ask to donate whatever you can. If you got laid off or you don't have a job right now, I ask that you please hold on to your money because right now the economy is not looking like it's going to do so well. Hold on to it. The best you can do is just watch the video watch the ads and we can help support the people that need it the most we're gonna try and make the live stream as entertaining as possible and then even if you can't help just watch it anyway and just support and watch the stupid crap that we typically do anyways today we're doing a Q&A ever since I started this beauty right here doing the VR 30 swap I've been getting a crap ton of questions every day so I decided that I was gonna do a Q&A sit down answer everybody's questions accordingly just kind of give you all the answers that you guys have been looking for for a little while anyway oh man I gotta find a spot to sit oh god all right oh no it's not good enough oh, where can I all right, I'm just gonna get in this bay. You guys delivered because that it, there is there's more people that wanted to know things than I expected. So I'm gonna try and just get straight to the point and attack this video. But thank you to everybody who asked their questions, both on Instagram and a few on YouTube. <sighs> Dang, where should I start? Whatever, right, let's just jump into it. Back Pringles asked, when are you gonna come to Ohio and enjoy some of the bangers we got here? Dude, I'm actually trying to go to Texas first and also Georgia. I don't know where in Georgia, but I'm trying to link up with Tito, uh, 1700 Tito in uh, Texas. And so it might be in Austin, San Antonio. I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna go exactly, but as soon as this thing is done, baby, we out here, we traveling. I don't know about Ohio, bro. I just know Ohio's for lovers, and I don't know what else. So we could probably figure it out, but it'll probably be like 2021 where I actually travel out there. Hi, Leah Tony. Actually, a lot of you guys ask me this. It's as a lot of them are back to back. What? How much power am I pretty much shooting for in the in the VR 30? I think because of less drivetrain loss, because this is gonna be a well. I guess let me not jump ahead, but because of the the drivetrain, I'm not probably gonna lose as much as cues do i'm thinking if i want to go balls to the wall tuning it might be around 500 ish horsepower maybe like 510 that might be a stretch i'm okay with 450 and 475 i think that's a for what i want to do to the car well what i want to do with the car i think that's perfect enough i don't think i really need more than 500 but i'm gonna tune it and try and max it out as much as possible just to have that flex very important if i butcher these names i'm so sorry bro gerald oh gerald omi asked did you decide who's gonna tune your vr30 dude initially actually i was gonna go for with martin from our synthopy i decided Decided to since Vic from Miami Z parts was the one that was initially we were starting this whole process with I did the swap here of course but he's still doing my harness and my any actually really anything else that I might have overseen and not thought about it's gonna be him doing it I wanted to kind of give Vic a shot because he has some proven boosted uh, Z's a couple of proven Q's and I want to I want to see what he can do so I told him to go balls to the wall if the motor blows well I don't care like I want I want to see what he can do and then we'll tone it we'll tone it down from there Miami Z parts is going to be tuning my my VR30 goz uh, 0831 asks any tips on finding parts for the low do resources matter or just patient honestly it's a good mix of both I found this motor for 1400 bucks and only because mainly because of Vic I was in the market for the VR30 for a good four or five months for those who followed the initially like eight months ago when i first talked about this you guys already know it's been a long time and it's finally happening now but you have to be you, it, it's a mix of both you do have to know people to find things because if i was on youtube i don't think i would really be getting a lot of the deals that i'm getting right now because a lot of my subscribers you guys sell me things that i'm asking for super cheap sometimes so i really appreciate it at the same time you can just be patient because i had no plugs for the vr30 and i stayed looking for a couple of months and finally i, I locked down a deal the guy was actually like it, it it all worked out so it's a mix of both but i would definitely say it's more patience than anything impulse buying leads to destruction just be careful z34 chris asks why are you so slow at least i have a running car run me a 20 right now my saturn will take you out donut z34 asks can you make a video of a list of what's needed to do a vr30 swap for the 370z with no issue yeah of course that's the whole point everything i'm doing is going to be listed i'm not hiding crap from any of you guys anyone who's been interested in actually doing a vr30 swap i encourage it i don't care if it's called if, it, if people consider it copy or whatever the case I want you to do it so I'm gonna have how much it costs what you need and probably and who to go to also I'm just a regular dude I'm not a I don't have a huge budget I'm not rich I work just like everybody so I'm also trying to find the best deals and I'm gonna try and work with these companies so that way you guys can get the best deals so yeah of course Dennis Needle asks what's the most nervous what are you most nervous about with this oh wow my I can't read bro what are you most nervous about with this build I think the harness I honestly everything is working out so smooth I can't complain I 
thought the dude like everything matches up so freaking perfect like everything so far at first it was coolant ac and power steering I, we fixed the power steering issue coolant didn't, doesn't look like an issue because it all matches up honestly it's just the harness itself so it's not that serious but like everything else but the harness is going to be a headache uh, zithu charlie asks why you know race me lol seriously why are you so tall well i don't race you because i don't race people who do 18 seconds in the quarter mile And I'm tall because of puberty. I don't know. I, <laughs> Chatty Z34 asks, what's your all-time dream car? Bro, if you guys have been following me for a while, you should know this. It's a Viper. I don't care about anything else. I want a Viper. If you guys want to give me a Viper, you don't have to give me a Viper. But give me a Viper. Uh, Nyanyo uh, asks, are you going to wrap the Z or dip it? It's going to get wrapped. I want to play with the idea that I have in my mind with the color first before I commit. And if I like it, it's actually going to get... I'm going to take this car to get fully painted. Like, cutting no corners, taking off all panels, all parts, everything. It's got... It's an engine. It's all getting painted. So I'm trying to go balls to the wall with it. He also asks if I'm going to drag race it. There's only one person I'm after with in the drag race. And they know who they are. So once I spank that guy, Coyote, not really I have different plans for this this car and that's gonna be in a later video I think it's also gonna be with Cheyenne so I'll save it for that one but yeah I'm gonna maybe race drag race it a couple of times or maybe just go to Homestead Speedway whenever it's the homies and it's not gonna be set up for drag racing but I, I will race it time to time just gotta change the alignment uh, what kind of bear is the best bear black bear Tony T0537 underscore asks, what transmission will you use in the motor? We stay in six speed, baby. What What do you think this is, bro? I, I had the automatic trans, but I got rid of that thing immediately. We're staying six speed. I, I don't really feel like there would be any other way. Jay's underscore Z asks, would you trade your, your VR30 swap for a Lambo? Hell no. I know there's a lot of people that would be like, oh, that's stupid. I would trade immediately. But I feel like, one, I can't afford the maintenance for a Lambo, so I'm going to be broke. Like, broke, broke. And then two, doing something like this is more personal. To me, in my opinion, is better than a Lamborghini. I know maybe a lot of you might disagree, but I made this car what it is, and it's gonna stay that way. You feel me? So I don't know. I just wouldn't. I wouldn't trade my. Honestly, I don't even think I'll ever even sell or trade disease. It's just it's it's too close to me for me to want to get rid of it i almost did it early on in the days but i couldn't pull the trigger and i'm glad i didn't so i have a feeling it's this car is honestly it's gonna live and die with me um, i got a whole lot of spam i appreciate that chemist asked did your dad help with the swap bruh my dad's gonna probably be watching this so he's gonna laugh but no no my dad did not help me Corey bell asks how much weight gain or loss i don't know i don't know how much the vhr weighs i know the vr weighs like 500 and something wet and for something and 450 or something like that dry so meaning like no oils and no oil coolant nothing i have no idea bro armani underscore zero two two one asks how much was the engine trans and turbos what type of performance specs do you expect engine trans and turbos i actually got for fourteen hundred dollars cinderella underscore man underscore Asked, what's the total cost right now after selling the transmission right under two grand with the blow off valve flywheel like all the clutch stuff and so right now i'm going to be at 200 it's going to be two grand right under that and with the stuff that i'm going to buy now i'm probably going to be right at three thousand uh, i let's just assume i already have everything it's going to be right at three grand so far but still a lot cheaper than twin turboing the the 3.7 spencer stoneman asked biggest problem with the build so far I haven't gotten one thankfully we haven't hit that we haven't hit that yet because we have we've only just slid the motor in i don't know yeah i can't it's too soon to say eric underscore v98 asks how helpful <laughs> eric underscore v98 asks how helpful was z1 and other shops with your build i can't act super ungrateful dude like other shops the shops the companies that definitely have helped me in shops okay miami z parts number one victor huge help Concept Z performance, huge help when it came down to the the clutch kit and also the transmission z1 I talked to I, I talked to Fastlane Doug. He's really cool, but we don't really talk about the VR at all. Matt from Z1, the one that handles the the Instagram page, he made fun of me, but honestly, no help from Z1 at all. I've emailed John directly. I've spoken to John on the phone, and he was very hesitant to really tell me anything. So I can't say Z1 has helped me out the least bit. And at first, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it did kind of annoy me, you know, because I'm just trying to honestly, I'm just trying to have fun you know but i understand that maybe they want to keep their secrets it is what it is and i can't ex expect some big company to help some guy doing a vr30 swap in his garage it is what it is dude lpingu underscore rt asks why is this not done yet because i'm not rich bro if you want to it's you want to sponsor me risky underscore rabbit will you keep up with the the will you keep up with the vq37 boosted boys 
No, I don't think so, to be honest. You guys make like 600 horsepower easy, and these motors, like you really have to do a lot to make 600, so it's not that easy with the VR30, but at the same time, the VR30 hasn't been that explored yet, like the 3.7. So I think AMS has been the only ones that have really been taking it next level, so we'll see. As soon as this is done, honestly, I'm gonna be rolling around at 450, maybe 500. If you guys are around 450, 500, then yeah, I'll keep around then, but everybody else, I, I highly doubt. I'll keep up with a 3.7. So these are the ones off YouTube now, and I'll end it on these. K5 Daily asks, what made you do, what made you want to swap to a VR instead of boosting the VQ? Dude, thank you for asking, bro. I wanted to do the VR because, oh man, this is this is a lengthy one, so let me just, I wanted to do the VR because it, let's step back a little bit, because in the end of the day, what I do is YouTube. I have to do things that are creative, and this kind of will help any creator too, especially in the Z community. You have to do things that are either one, super wild and destructive, and it just gives you a lot of clout, puts you out there because God knows whatever reason, or you have to be super creative and just do something that people would want to do and either they can't afford it or something that they want to do that it just might be a little risky and it's like un it's not it's like unexplored waters right now kind of like the vr30 we know like nissan and z1 and others have done it what does it really take to get there so realistically i was going to boost the 3.7 that i had actually that's sitting in the garage i was going to boost that but then i really found no fun in that at all and i wanted to do something that was completely different something that i thought would be exciting for my audience and more importantly something that i thought i would have the most fun doing so i could boost the 3.7 and Honestly, I would be in and out in maybe a month or less. Vic, like he moves through those kits like nothing. He's finishing up Chris's actually right now as we speak. How many boosted 3.7s do you see one on the internet? Two. Look at Fastlane Doug. Fastlane Doug to me is like the perfect picture of what you would want out of a boosted 3.7. But it's been done a whole bunch of times. I just found no excitement out of it for me. But I'm sh if anybody can boost a 3.7, I say do it. And I would actually tell people don't even waste money on going on NA mods. Just boost it immediately. Chris listened to that and look at that, now that that guy's the happiest ever, so. Honestly, it was just, I guess to be blunt, it was for the content, my own personal enjoyment, and just for the challenge to put in the VR30. So that's what we're doing. That was a good question, man. Thank you. Nismo, 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 Nismo really 22? I'm sorry if I put your name, I'm sorry. Uh, is Vic still doing the swap? Bruh. No, I did the swap myself. Vic just didn't have the time and Chris's, Chris's car took a lot longer than you, than they expected. So here I am with a swap. <laughs> Xbox, S meaning the curse word, a 370Z asked, Turbo my VQ or 2J swap? If you, dude, if you, can, if you can 2J swap your Z, do it. Okay, do it. Have fun, man. Do something. Do something different, and I don't know. It just everybody does the same thing. Like it would just be an expensive route. But if I, if there was no like unlimited money, no questions asked, I would two J swap immediately. But at the same time, I do like keeping it. I like being a purist with like if it's Nissan, I like putting Nissan stuff in it. So I don't know, but I, I feel like a two J would be pretty damn fun. I would love to review one of those cars, but yeah. Hopefully, I didn't bore you guys too much. And I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm literally holding the hood up by a fishing rod. Yeah, we have to get a quick VR30 swap. Oh, we to get the flex bro i've been looking at this motor so much like every time i go to work i pop the hood just to check it out but man now i had ignore like the the tie down and the shirts and all that. i had to block the blow off valves but the holes to the blow off valves but man i'm just super happy and i cannot wait to finally get this thing started but thank you guys for watching if you are hyped just as much as me please consider subscribing it really helps please hit that like button because it helps the video get more out there and if you guys have any more questions by all means just leave it in the comments and i'll just i'll happily answer them as long as it doesn't give away too much information but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one